Running several WordPress sites, it's not an easy task. Ask me about it. I run over 40 websites that I need to keep updated, logging in, checking if there's any vulnerabilities, if there's updates, and you definitely don't want to autopilot the updates because it might break your site. So I'm going to show you Easy Plugin Manager that does way more than just manage your plugins. So stick around for this video right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? We're going to check out Easy Plugin Manager. And like I said, it does more than just manage plugins. So basically, you can obviously manage plugins remotely or inside of each website. You can lock plugins so you don't mess around with them. You can bolt plugins. So that means that if I bolt a plugin, that's any type of plugin that I have already installed on my WordPress site, I can actually install it on different sites, that same plugin. So it can be a free or a paid plugin that I can do that. I can also auto log into my WordPress sites. I can manage them. I can have users manage different type of sites depending on how I set it up. And there's a whole bunch of things that we can do with Easy Plugin Manager. So let's get started. Link will be provided in the description. So this is my Easy Plugin Manager dashboard. And this is like this is where I can view a quick overview. So I can view the websites that I have connected. And in this section, I have two demo websites that I have connected. I have some pending updates that I want to do. So we'll view those right now. Okay. So two websites, no security threats. So this is pretty cool because if there's a threat, that is, I don't know, a vulnerability. Well, it's going to let me know 15 plugins total in these two websites. So let's dive into my two websites right here. And first of all, we're going to be greeted with the sites section. I have several filters available here. Trust me, once you have a bunch of websites, this is really going to come in handy. OK, so I can view websites by filtering which ones need updates, which ones are disconnected, which ones are SSL enabled versions for WP. This ones are both on the same WP. PHP versions, each one of these has different versions. So if I want to view the 8.1 version, this one's in that version. So it's going to let me know really easily which PHP version these sites have. Okay, so I can filter them. I can also tag them to find them later on. So for example, if I want to add a tag to this, I can create one right now and say, uh, I don't know, WP. Well, I'll just say client in this case. Okay, which sites? This one, right? Or I can select them all and I'm going to enable label them green. So I'll create a tag. And this one is going to be tagged for clients. If I want to find them later on, I can do it like that. And the same thing goes with clients. So once you have clients, you can put them by name, George, Miguel, Lopez, etc. Filter them there. OK, now the good part. OK, so the main purpose of this is actually remotely updating plugins without having to log into each one of these sites, even though you can do it. But this is easier. OK, so these are the two sites that need updates. You can see here. I already have installed Easy Plugin Manager and it actually adds really nice looking icons so I can locate the plugins. So basically you wouldn't see these nice looking icons, but since you have Easy Plugin Manager, you can see them. OK, and you're going to get additional options with this. OK, so for example, you have deactivate. You can download it. That's not available without Easy Plugin Manager. You can bookmark it to find it later on. You can lock it so they can't mess around with it or even you, right? So if you know you need to lock this one because I don't know, you don't want to update it, you don't want someone else to erase it, you lock it, right? And you can send it to Vault if I want to download it in my Vault and install it on a different WordPress site without having to do it manually every single one, right? And you get all these features, okay? Now, like I said, I'm not going to update, update them here. I am going to do it over here on the Easy Plugin Manager dashboard. So it's going to be done remotely. So I'm going to go into my plugins I can view the details here. So for example, again, I can deact deactivate it, lock it. I can add a note to this. So if I want to know what's going on with this plugin later on, because I have a note like don't update it or just wait a few weeks before you update, et cetera, send it to vault, view the versions. I can actually downgrade the plugin if I like. So for example, contact form, I can view all the versions right here. And yes, I can downgrade it from here. Okay. I can search for it. I can bookmark it. I can activate it. I can bulk update, for example, Elementor. This one needs update. So right now it's 3.15.3. So I'm going to update it from here. Do this. Here we go. It just updated. So let's go jump into the site. You can see Elementor needs updating. Let me go ahead and refresh it. And here we go. No more update needed. That was done remotely with Easy Plugin Manager. OK, so that's how it's going to be done with all of these. Now, if I view all the websites, I'm able to view all the list of the plugins that are installed, even the repeated ones. For example, Easy Plugin Manager, you can see it's it's in two websites because those are two websites I haven't installed in. 
So I can view all the information here. Like I said, you can downgrade, you can update, you can delete it, you can bookmark it, a whole bunch of things that you can do with this. Now, what if I want to add a new plugin? That is possible also here without having to go to the WordPress site. Again, if I want to install this classic editor, I'll click install. I'll select the site that I want to install it and I can bulk install it on all the websites. So if I have 20 websites, 30 websites that I need to install this plugin, I can do it from here. I don't have to go to every single website and do it manually. So I'll select this one and I'll install it and it's going to do it for me. There we go. It just installed it. And if I did it on both websites, it would do it for me, right? I can bookmark this one. I can block it so they don't. I can install it and I can view all the popular ones. I can search just like you would on the WordPress site, but doing it remotely for yourself or for your clients. So it saves you time. If I bookmark one, so I'll just bookmark this one done. I can view it over here on my bookmark. Here it is. I have these two bookmarks. If I want to bolt a plugin, bolt exactly. So for example, I'll match plugins and I'll use, for example, uh, post X. Okay. So I am going to send to bolt. There we go. It was just sent to vault. So this is a paid plugin. You can go into vault here. Here it is. It's three megabytes. I'm going to click on it. See what's going on. This is the version that I vaulted and I want to install it on a different site. So I have this one in my, okay, it's in my woo.sasmaster1 and I want to install it in my other website from here. So I'll go to WP, I'll select it, I'll install it, and I should install it on my wp.sasmaster.net website. So let's wait for that to be done. There we go, it's done. And I have this available here on my vault. So I'll go to my site, I'll refresh it, and here it is. Check that out. That's super easy, right? It's practical. Next, we have clients. So if you have clients, you can organize this. So set up a client and later on, you can tie websites to those clients so you can have better control with obviously your clients, right? So there's a lot of things that you can do with your WordPress site. Now, basically, this is the main dashboard where you're going to view everything that's going on if you want to check it out. And again, if you want to jump into each individual website that you have installed this on, you're going to be able to view the whole list right here. So if you, if you have 20, 30 websites, this is going to be super practical to do it from here. And adding the website is a breeze. All you have to do is install the plugin. So you install easy plugin, go to your settings for easy plugin, Let me find it. Here it is. And you're going to go into settings and set the code that it's going to provide you. And inside of the plugin that you have installed, there's also settings. So if I go to dashboard, there's also a quick overview of everything that's going on here, like the 10 installed plugins, 10, act, seven active plugins three inactive ones and zero vulnerabilities. I can view my bookmarks. I can view my history, everything that's going on with the site. If I've installed this installed, if I update it, et cetera, I'll be looking at everything right here. So I can see deleted, deactivated, updated, etc. Guard available, vault optimization. This is a really cool tool, the optimization tool. Why? Let me give you an example. This is my site where I have a contact form. But I, I'm only using the contact form in the contact page, for example. Well, I don't want to load this plugin on the home page, on the posts, on blogs, etc., because I don't want to cause the loading drag on my website. So I can deactivate it on those sections. For example, for posts, and you can say select all, and I can save it to those, okay? And I can do so for all these. For example, in pages, for the pages, select the pages. I don't want it in these pages, only in the about page, for example, and I'm going to save it. So it's not going to load the plugin in those sections. And by that, it's going to load faster your website because it's not going to load plugins that you don't actually need in certain pages, posts, etc. And the th same thing goes for all these plugins that you can select where you want them to load or not. For example, this WordPress plugin, this um, backup plugin, I don't want it to load anywhere. Why? Because I don't need it. So I'll select them all. I actually done. I did this previously. So this is all set up right here. So it doesn't even load. This is a backup plugin that works on the back end. And if it even tries to load one of the single files on my main website, it's not going to allow it. So it's not going to cause the speed drag on my website because I disabled it on all my website pages. So it's super useful to use this. And then you have your account details and your settings. If you want to delete the easy plugin manager plugin. But there you go. That is the easy plugin manager. If you want to check it out, link will be provided in the description. So do check it out and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. 
And that's a wrap.